All right, and we are back. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Minecraft. Glad you could be here, too. So here we go, guys. We're uh, kicking back off again not long after I wrapped up the last episode RL style. And I uh, hope you all are doing well, whether you're watching videos back-to-back -back in a playlist or uh, just dropping by to sample some content, see some... Uh, Hardcore vanilla Minecraft. We're we're doing it. We just uh, got our first batch of enchants down. We did did pretty well. We've got a uh, great sharpness sword, a great power infinity bow. Um, three pieces of our armor are now set up. Uh, I think one has a fire prot four, and then two prot fours. Um, and, of course, th those will need a lot more work to really be fully um, set up long term. But, uh, at least for starting, they give us a little bit of possibility. Our sword is pretty beefy now. Some sharp, some knockback. Now, did he come off that? Because if he was coming from up higher, that's, that's really scary. Alright, well, let's just light this to the back edge. Uh, I know we just literally just talked about how we want all the iron, blah, 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 blah. I think we'll do that in enclosed caves. Maybe this coal, though. Uh, in caves as opposed to ravines. Uh, lower level ravines, if we can get some diamonds and things that are exposed, that would help. Gold, too. Um, I still just have a healthy respect, let's call it, for the uh, creepers dropping from the sky and, you know, getting caught out of position by a horde of zombies or something. I like this world. I want to keep it going. It's got a great little setup. We got our friendly villagers over by the jungle. Still have quite a ways to go before we get back to any additional enchants. But that's almost, you know, the that's quite alright. We don't need to worry about that because we have such good out of the fortune on the pick. And we're really set up for the next little bit of gameplay without needing a whole lot of other. So that's going to be our way home. I think...
quite a cave there. Oh, is this the cross ravine that we were maybe looking at from the other way? Right, listen, that's not cool. That's not cool. Wow, excuse me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, uh, I don't think we're anywhere near low enough to get back on diamonds. So now we're just kind of doing the caving thing. And they're just uh, irons back here. position where I can just completely turn all this down. It seems to just keep going and going. Pretty good. Half a stack. Don't want to forget that this is my exit. Now that this is kind of turning into a twisty turny area. Let's see if this connects us back with that bigger room. Just to see that. Okay. Well, we did it. Copper, still leave that. Oh, boy. That is, uh, I didn't realize. I, I forgot we had, uh, ooh, you got a chain of bow. Couple of them. Oh, 
Oh. That worked pretty well. He was the one I really wanted to get. Anything sparkly down there? Oh, that's the jingle. Um, I guess since we're going to be on our way back anyway, let's just grab up all that random loot. We'll run with our one torch. Since we may find coal or other goodies. Actually, uh, oops. This big hallway. All right. Well, that was good. Now we, I think, next time we push down on level eleven again to keep this tunnel going further. Uh, we really haven't covered too much lateral ground. And as I said, I think I, I meant to say, I don't know if I actually did or not, the the reason why we're heading off kind of to this uh, uh, eastern, uh, it's on the northern side, it's the, the easternmost of those corners and kind of angling uh, forward from there, is we want to Uh, get as much of the mountain biome as we can for emeralds and such goodies. Right, we can now manage those a little bit more. We got a bit of inventory to juggle around here. A few more deep slate. Random carrot. Those are all good. We don't need zombie flesh. That's my golden apple section. Alright, I'd kind of thought we might switch into diamond mode, but until we until we get any, let's at least go one more here. Sleep, which means coffee. Ah, good stuff. Okay, I guess we should check our iron. We did come back up enough. Let's do... these that we hadn't filled up. Now, that should be good. Not much to add there yet. Uh, as you guys, some of you may know, I like to keep two full and then kind of keep that as a floating uh, third stack, and I kind of will build. Once, once these get more jammed up, 
then if the furnaces are full, that's when we start skimming off for more cold blocks. And eventually we'll switch all this out. So that sh stuff should be coming along here um, pretty quickly. But I think with all that, now I'm going to check the time again because I have no idea. All right. We are want to go to just short of the top of the hour. All right, let's go go back down. Like I said, this time, instead of going back into those caves, they're, they're fun and all good, but I think we want to stay low and try to get more diamonds. If we can find a couple patches with our fortune pick, then even if they're not enchanted, we can just start using diamonds um, to go. That'll speed up everything in this process. So... That's our next big step. Two, three, four, five, six. Looks like some iron there. Skip it for now. And so we're into the wooded hills now. A little ways to go before we get to the mountains. for the XP. need the redstone but we can we can store that with blocks too and not have to worry about our inventory too much <laughs> oh no yeah. try not to knock down our torches too much oh good more lava I think we had seen some of this from the opposite side. We certainly know that it, it keeps going well enough. We'll step into this block, that's for sure knowing that we have some more lava to come. Wow. Getting deeper. together. Was that our... Oh. 
finally we're getting some good deep slate kitten. Once we do uh, stumble upon some more diamonds, though, at that point we can start with the the stuff that's just hanging over the basement and get uh, get a bunch of that. I think we'll. Look to wrap up the. I think that's our spot, right? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Lava. Well then, guess we're not done with the lava yet, huh? Certainly, if we do find diamonds, all <laughs> all rules of protecting and preserving them from falling are in effect. Spiders in the walls action going on. Mountains. All right. Well, we're in in range now. drinking. That looks very diagonally. Now, it could be tough, but uh... Yeah. Bummer. The smooth basalt has a nice diagonal pattern, too. More XP here. Some skeletons around, so maybe we're about to get back into another adventure space.
good. More lava and the lava fall, which, of course... Helps everything. Um, do have a bit of an advantage in that sense. And I think we'll do... Wonderful. Now, it's not impossible that something could drop and try to swing back in, but that would be kind of such a god tier move for a mob that uh, I think we'd have to give it to him on sheer skill. haven't done is take advantage of the view to I don't see anything too awesome though so let's keep keep going press on Let's do one more section, then we'll combine the picks. Well, I don't get it. Even though we've now entered the mountains, we haven't seen emeralds or diamonds. There's nothing. mine here though and for those folks who may be wondering um yeah, I do have the, the fortune pick with. I'm not using it on redstone or even lapis or anything yet because, or the iron, uh, you know, that's something you could use. Um, until we have mending set up, though, there's really not much purpose to it. Um, it will eat up uh, the durability of that tool. So I really want to save it. I'll use it for emeralds and I'll use it for diamonds. Um, but want to keep it in tip-top shape otherwise.
and um, using fortune before we have silk touch is just going to really slow us down quite a bit because we'll be filling up our inventory constantly. You start start using it on redstone. I mean, you got a half dozen stacks before you can blink. So we don't uh, don't have a super pressing need for. Cavern or ravine, maybe? Got some water and some lava. Getting louder. So yeah, not not opposed to grabbing some uh, some redstone along the way, but I'm not going out of my out of my way to maximize it or or multiply the pieces that we get already. We've got five stacks there, so we'll be making blocks before we know it. Yeah, sadly, I don't see us moving outside the iron picks on this trip, which is what I'd really like to do. just noticed what's on the floor there. All right. Well, that sets us up for some excitement, doesn't it? A little bit we can kind of set up and prepare here before we even really get going. We'll leave that. like those log posts. I've said that before. I think they're pretty cool. All right. Thinking that's just a regular cobweb? Why does it look so strange under there? What is that? Is that gl the glow algae underneath there? Okay, whatever. Um, still have some space, so let's use up this pick, and then we'll fill back in the stairs. This makes kind of a nice little ingress point to an abandoned mine. Having this in the mountains, which I assume we're still in, is all the better. That's just a decent chance for finding uh, emeralds and whatnot in 
in the walls of this little space. Now I'm just going to widen all of this as well. There we go. All right. Uh, a little teaser. Can pick these up too, I guess. Should use the water, but no biggie. And why not? All right. We'll have a nice little workshop area here. We can uh, throw down some chests and uh, gather up wood, make resupply torches, all that all that good stuff. And now we know where all those mobs are coming from. Good. That's the uh that's the advantage of going pressing for diamonds under underground like this. You can find things like abandoned mines and um well I won't do uh you know like the the forcing yourself underground to what look for uh, mine shafts and stuff like that underground. Um, we have in some of our lost worlds done that in the creative mode, you know, kind of like wrap things up and, and take a look around and see the base and everything. So for those situations, we have uh, looked and, you know, it's clear there's plenty of abandoned mine shafts just waiting out there to be discovered. So, yeah, I'll figure that. We'll clean the rest of that up when we get back. Um,. Yeah, uh, the finding of abandoned mine shafts. Sometimes we've we've been like, wow, it's like right under our base. You can't can't go ten feet without finding them. This world seems a little uh, a little less generous when it comes to the abandoned mine shafts. We had to go, uh, you know, a good distance in one direction, and that's luck based. It, the The game isn't going to move them around. Um, as you generate new chunks, you may be more or less likely to uh, see some out in the distance. But all in all, let's do that. Top that off again. Come over here. Those. Over here. Look at how much deep slate we got on that run. That's awesome. Those are walls. Strong, sturdy farms encircling walls. Gravel and dirt. Uh, have we even started with rail junk? Rail junk can go in there. That is where I did have those extra beds. I was wondering about maybe putting one up by the farms over there and just leaving it. But we don't need to worry about that right at the moment. Um... Let's do the flint. Now, let's... This. Blocks. There we go. Single piece to hold the rope so we can... <laughs> it's very rare that we uh, we fill it beyond that without getting to the point where we can use some redstone. So, not too worried. Plus, we'll have we'll have expanded storage and all that good stuff uh, when the time comes. All right, we need this. Those can go away. Mm. I didn't handle that very well. 
because we really do need extra axe and shovel. We want those to be top top. Now I'm thinking I'm only going to go with one iron shovel. Uh, <coughs> wow, excuse me. The thought being we've got the diamond one as a spare. Uh, we're not just going to be mining straight through ground. We're going to be running around in a bunch of tunnels uh, looking for chests and loots and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll want a bunch of torches. We want this to clear spider webs. Um, let's go ahead and make another tool thing. I know we can, you know, we can very quickly have more than enough of this stuff uh, when we get back down there, but why not just bring this and set up when we go? Anything else have we sheared? Do not have any spider webs yet, and we have shears. Let's bring those down. We'll we'll cut some spider webs down as well. I think. And then we're just really hoping that we get uh get a few patches of diamonds in the walls down there. You know, al along with all the other good stuff we could possibly get. Um, I feel like uh, what I didn't do was check. 43 minutes. All right. What I didn't do was grab an enchanted apple. I think we can handle cave spiders with our bow. Uh, it, we should be one-shotting them, so... It, it wouldn't typically be something that I would use uh, use an enchanted for. Anyway, we've got the golden apples. If we come on a nest, we'll swap out um, the water bucket or something. So we have golden apples and can munch on those as much as we want. And uh, call it good. We've got this one hole right here that we hadn't quite finished up with. Dogs are singing outside. Something exciting is happening. Oh. There we go. A couple torches should keep that fairly well deal. Uh, sealed. I don't need to spend a lot of time or resources filling in that hole. Here's our ravine. Odd. I looked there. <laughs> Do we see any signs of mine chess? I guess we did go on quite a ways. It felt like that happened pretty quick on the heels, but... Apparently not so. Alright, well now we can uh, start taking a look at what we got here. The lava keeps us a little safe on that side. I don't know if the water is flowing the right way to keep us safe there. We'll have that chest to come back to, that's good. For right now, just checking the immediate vicinity. Let's see, this feels
Okay, there's that. Now we come back down and deal with this mess. And the mess it is. Uh, let's go this side. Get away from the water. Still flowing down. But that does look like the source, right? Sorry, bat. set up my, uh, my little workspace, did I? Oops. More name tag. That's good. Quickly, a lot of this stuff becomes more pure junk. That already filled me up? <sighs> okay. Well, we knew we had to go back anyway, so... Here, and here, around here, and let's do that. this open up a disaster overhead. Um, a monster loots and stuff. Rails and fences and other junk. Junk blocks and the rest of this we'll hang on to. Top those off again. Now, I don't see much reason to hold those up. Let's. Oh, uh, we should go get all this stuff before it despawns, right? Just best practice. Alright, now let's come back and kind of... Go methodically. As we did have this chest cart that I didn't want to just... Or that's our very first chest card. Ooh, this helps. Oh no, you're stuck on that side. That's too bad. Oh, 
pretty decent here. We can deal with that later. Oh, let's. Yeah, again. But, uh. most beneficial of chests. Carts. I hear you, little buddy. He's going to be back in here. Let's go ahead and start taking this down. Definitely want more light there. Here. Being that this is close to home, or our main access point. Don't mind dropping a few torches. Keeping the welcoming committee a little further back. Ah, oh, what? I thought that was going to open up into a much bigger area. What a shame. Uh, that's just a hole. Let's fill that up. Need to find you, baby zombie. I don't want to get filled. Um. Like he's it's like the little baby is doing laps, like he knows where I am and wants to get to me. Which that previous zombie could have done the whole call on it, call for others generate a little swarm. Getting some nice emeralds. Oh. There we go. Do that just to have somewhere that we can stash some. Disposal functionality. Alright. Uh. Oh. you were the one, but if not, 
tell your friends. Ooh. That wasn't uh, particularly well done. I'll be the first to admit it. Kinda. I, I saw him, and I kind of thought he was a black spider. And then the next thing I knew, he was uh, not at all. Let's... Make this a little more direct. That. Let's go empty the pockets. That seems so dark. for you. We got our spider web sword. Let's switch those. Yeah, I think we're... That was... I didn't see the nest. Anyone see the nest? I see a skelly down there. Certainly hear a bunch of spiders. that okay there's the spawner can I just who Oh, 
That was lucky. Whoa! Oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh no, he's still there. Die! Whew! Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't how I wanted that to go. But we did clear out a couple of them. I'm surprised though, they did not seem to care much about my sword. Fortunately, with these like caves opening up around, they could be scattered all over the place. There. There's some gold in the chain and everything. It's a good sign of progress. knows. Oh, we're over time. Whoa. Uh, this way. <laughs> so we got that to look forward to, and it looks like another little ravine, and some creepers and skellies hanging out on the same step. more of this stuff, a little bit more of that, that, and that away. I 
Not too bad. Not too bad so far. And of course, we're leaving you know, like emeralds and gold and all that in the walls and the floors. We'll get back to that. We just need to uh, need to kind of make it a secure environment to start. But uh, that's going to do it for our episode here. Hope you guys are enjoying the abandoned mine shaft. Always good for some adventure and possible death. Uh, but we're going to try to keep our top priority still being not dying. And as you can see, even falling in with those cave spiders, yeah, it was bad, but uh, uh, kept us going a little bit. So still going to need to keep pressing on, find some more uh, some more diamonds. We need them bad. We uh, want to switch out our tools. So far we've got a bunch of emeralds out there, but uh, no more diamonds yet. So fingers crossed for the next one. Uh, for you guys, I will see you back here shortly. I am going to take a little break. Hope you guys do the same, and we'll catch you when you guys are ready. Take care of yourselves out there. Have a good one.